Hi friends, welcome to my channel Avi's Academy. In this video, I'll explain how to register with Future Skills Prime app, especially when an account has already been created by Nascom on your behalf or when you might have forgotten your password and how to reset it or if you are facing any difficulty while logging on to Future Skills Prime app. So I welcome once again to Avi's Academy and if you are a first timer to this channel kindly consider subscribing to the channel and press bell icon to get a notification on my future videos now let us see how to sign in or reset password in nascom's future skills prime portal or app to sign in or to sign up to future skills prime app first of all you need an app in the mobile phone therefore what you need to do is you have to go to play store or apple store there in the search tab you have to type future skills prime future skills prime a nascom initiative you can see click on to that so that's the app that is of edcast asia private limited so this is the app you are supposed to download so i'll click on to install now the app will uh, install to your mobile phone this is a 37 mb app so therefore it will take some time to get download and uh, install in your mobile phone let us wait for that now the app is installed i click on to open so now the app will get open here you get two options to register in future skills prime app one is get started that is actually sign in option that is if you have already registered your account and if you want to open that account in your mobile phone you have to click on to get started or else if you are doing a fresh registration click on to sign up now here you get different options to sign in to future skills prime app if you have yahoo mail or yahoo account or rediff mail account you can click on to email for registration purpose and if you want to use your exclusive uh, gmail account you have an option join now with google you can click on to that or else if you want to link your facebook account and uh, linkedin account and thereby you want to use future skills prime app that these are the next two options you have to click and if you are the user of apple mobile phone then you have to click on to sign in with apple option so i'll click on to email though i am using my gmail account for registration purpose now here i'll enter an email id where i have used this id to create or to register in future skills prime app this i am doing because just to show if in case your university has shared your email id through a google form which is sent to you to nascom officials they might have already created an account on behalf of you in future skills prime portal so to confirm that i'll be entering an email id which i have used before I have entered my email id so now I, now i'll click, click on to that condition option there i click next the moment i click next uh, there, uh, there is one message coming an account already exists with this email id that means i have already uh, there is an account which is created so if this is the case or if you uh, face similar problem where you forgot your password uh, in that case what you have to do is you have to click on to sign in so i'll click on to sign in here so now I have to sign in with my email account. I'll click on to this. So I'll enter uh, the same email ID. And now I have to enter password. Let us assume I have forgotten my password or NASCOM officials has created an account on behalf of you. And in that case, they will send a mail to your uh, registered email ID where they will mention your username. That is your email ID as a username. And uh, there will be a default password shared by them. If in case you have not received uh, that email or if you have forgotten your password, what you have to do is you have to click on to forget forget your password option the moment you click on to that it will take you to a page where you are allowed to reset your password here you have to put your email id and then a reset link will be sent to your email id you have to go back to your email id and then you have to reset your password there i have entered my email id now i'll click on to get reset link the moment i get reset link there is a email which is sent to my email account now what i need to do is i have to go back to my email id google that is gmail id so i'll be going back to my email id so my gmail 
is here i'll be click on to that i'm supposed to receive a password reset link sometimes it may not appear on your primary mail you may have to check your spam folder if there is any spam mail or you may have to check your social or promotion folder i'll click on to promotion so here i have a password reset link which is sent by future skills prime i'll click on to this so here i have a password reset uh, button so i'll click on to reset password here you have to enter your uh, new password and follow all the guidelines with respect to creating a password uh, that is where you should have one capital letter one special character and one at least one numerical value you enter your new password in the first text field and then the same password has to be entered in confirm new password then just click on to reset your password has been reset you will get a message like your password has been successfully updated after successfully updating your password you have to go back to your future skills prime app there you click on to get started then here you click on to email now enter your email and then the newly created password or newly reset password i already entered my password now i'll click on to sign in if you have already registered they will not ask you to enter your first name last name and uh, name related information then your educational qualification etc so you are straight away asked with the date of birth so i'll be entering date of birth here so you enter your uh, date of birth i'll enter a random date of birth i'll take december uh, 2005 as the month and uh, maybe 8th december as uh, the date of birth of a student who has born on on 8th december 2005 then enter your uh, gender i'll choose my gender then enter pin code here you have to enter in the search option your either your college ka pin code or your home ka pin code i'll enter college ka pin code so once you enter that same number comes down there you have to click then a green color check mark comes that is an indication you have selected then you click on to done the corresponding values with respect to pin code will come that is district state and the country then you have to enter your mobile phone where you will get an otp to verify your mobile phone so once you enter your uh, proper mobile phone then click on to verify then you will get an otp within 5 minutes this will come at a faster speed so i have got my otp 6839 so i'll be entering that so i entered otp immediately it get verified then you have to click on to next so here you have to choose your occupation so we are registering as student if you are a teacher you can click on to working professional i'll click on to student then you have to enter educational details so here this is for undergraduation uh, students i'll click on to undergrad undergraduate you click your respective educational details then you have a check box don't click on to that because there they mention please select if you have been offered employment you have not been offered employment for the time being you are doing this uh, registration only for the purpose of your academic progress then after that immediately click on to next so here you have to choose three topic of your interest so you can choose any option here i'll click on to artificial intelligence then i'll click on to big data analytics then i'll click on to cyber security you can choose any option here after that you click on next so i'll click on next and this is the end of our registration in future skills prime app so if you want to confirm whether you have actually been registered in the app you there is an image which is uh, coming so here you can you need to click on to that there your name uh, which is registered how it is registered it will come then score for the time being it will be zero because you have not made any progress so once you uh, complete each module you will get badges and once you get uh, clear your final test you will get certificate certificate will ta take at least 8 to 14 days to upload in the future skills prime app or to receive an email id so this is the process of registering in future skills prime app 
when you forget your password or maybe nascom officials have created an account by collecting your email id from your university through your teachers so this is the end of our registration thank you guys for watching the video if you like this video do consider to subscribe to the channel and press bell icon to get future updates on the videos which i am going to upload thank you thank you for watching